A gruesome story out of Brazil resembles the century-old story of a fictional serial killer. The Daily Mail has the story. Three Brazilian cannibals cooked their victims and turned them into pastries in a real-life version of Sweeney Todd. The sick trio killed their victims and used the flesh to make stuffed pastries known as empanadas that they sold to neighbors. Now, the trio, a martial arts expert, his wife, and his mistress, told police they were part of a sect that preaches purification and reduced population. They also said a voice told them to kill evil women. A CNN correspondent reports on their tactics. So they basically lured young women to their house in northern Brazil by promising them a job as a nanny. Police were first alerted when the suspects tried to use a credit card belonging to a victim. When police went to the house, they found a five-year-old girl who led them to two bodies in the backyard. They estimate the number of victims may be as high as 10. One of the suspects even wrote a book about a 2008 murder. A writer for Inquisitor has an excerpt. Looking at the now lifeless body of the evil adolescent, I feel relieved. We dine on the flesh of evil as a purification ritual. We bury the remainder in the patio. The story keeps getting weirder. Police believe the five-year-old girl actually belonged to the victim written about in that passage. They also say during the deposition, one of the suspects claimed to have sold the human-filled empanadas to schools, hospitals, and even one of the police officers. A writer for Gawker says that just adds insult to injury. As horrifying as the murders and cannibalism are, surely the worst part of this story is the empanadas. First, because the neighbors had no idea they were eating people, and second, because the killers actually made money selling the empanadas. Neighbors of the trio reportedly burned their house down after the story broke. I'm Jim Flink for Newsy. Multiple sources, the real story.